Okay, welcome back. Now I'm answering question number four on this Mr. Hassan's math channel um, from the June 2022 International A-Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 paper. This question here is about logarithms and exponentials and it's a part of that chapter which is new to the new P3 syllabus. You won't find questions like this in the old C3 papers, neither in the C3-4 papers. They started with the P3, so you won't find too many examples up to this point with, with these. Um, now, it says here, the number of subscribers to an online video streaming service N is modeled by the equation N equals A times B to the power of T, where A, B, a and B are constants and T is the number of years since monitoring began. The line in figure one shows a linear relationship between T and log to the base 10 of N. Okay, so here we have, um, you know, N stands for the number of years, of, so the number of subscribers to this channel, and T stands for the number of years after it started monitoring it. Um, then it says, the line in figure one shows a, the linear relationship between the log to the base 10 of N, so this exponential equation, which because there's a variable in the power here, has been transformed into a linear equation by using log to the base 10 of n, taking logs of both sides in order to change this equation into a linear relationship. Okay, um, and they told us that this graph of log to the base 10 of n against t um, gives a straight line where they've given us a couple of points on the line which we can use to help us now to find an equation for this line. So what we're going to do first, we're going to start off with what we were given which is the equation n equals a times b to the power of t. Now I want to transform this into a linear form and as we can see we have to take log to the base 10 of both sides. Okay now why did I choose to take log to the base 10? Well simply because this is in terms of log to the base 10. Okay here if this said lin n I would take the lin of both sides. So it all depends on that. Now I'm going to use my laws of logarithms to split this part up so that we have something that we can think of in linear form. So I'll split this up by the multiplication law first. So I have log to the base 10 of A plus log to the base 10 of B to the power of T. And I can use the laws of logarithms again to multiply this by, or to, to write this as T times log to the base 10 of B. So I have log to the base 10 of N equals log to the base 10 of A plus um, t times log to the base 10 of b. Okay, let me just write that a bit more because yeah, it looks like log to the base 0 here. Okay, log to the base 10 of a and log to the base 10 of b. Okay, now this is split up into a form which we can think of as, uh, you know, something in a uh, like a straight line graph okay so we can think of log to the base 10 of n as our this is like our y-axis and this is like our x-axis so the t is like x and the y is log to the base 10 of n so you have y equals think of this is y equals mx now m would be the the um, coefficient of t because this is like your x here so you can think of log to the base 10 of b this is like your m part all right times t which is like your x part plus c, which is log to the base 10 of a. I'm going to go out of the space here, but... Okay, so this is plus c. So you've got y equals mx plus c. So if I want to find the equation for the line, because they gave us this information, I should really find what the value of m and the value of c are for us to be able to um, write the equation of the line in terms of, of that. So we have the information we need in the question to do that. For example, we, could, we can see m is the is the gradient of the line, which is the change in y, which is 3.85 minus 3.08 divided by 5 minus 0, which is 5. That will give us the gradient. And so that will be m. And c, we can see that c is the y-intercept, which is what y is when x is 0. We can see that that's 3.08. We can see that from the graph itself. So we're going to find what m is, and then we will um, write the equation of the line. Okay, so we just put this in the calculator, 3.85 minus 3.08, and all of that is divided by 5. So that gives us 77 over 500, okay, which we can say is equal to 
if we um, write it as a decimal, 0 0.154 exactly. Okay, so therefore we can say that the equation of the line, we can say instead of y, we write log to the base 10 of n equals mx, so it's m times t, so it's 0 0.154 times t plus c, which is 3.08. So there is the answer to this first question or part A of this question. Okay, so rewriting this in linear form by taking log to the base 10 of both sides, finding the gradient and the y-intercept, writing them in their place. Okay, so you should, you know, because we have this extra information, we can't, we shouldn't just leave it like this. We should write it in this form here. Okay, so there's the answer to that first part of the question. Now on to part B. Now it says, find the value of A and the value of B, giving your answers to three significant figures. So if we go back here, we know um, what, in terms of log to the base 10 of A, okay, we, we can see that this is the gradient. So this is like, um, here, this is log to the base 10 of A, and the y-intercept, which you see, is log to the base, uh, sorry, this is log to the base 10 of B, the gradient, okay, and log to the base 10 of A is the y-intercept C. So we can re, we can I can write log to the base ten of a is going to be three point zero eight. Okay, so log to the base ten of a is three point zero eight, and I can say that log to the base ten of b is equal to the other value that we got there, which was zero point one five four. That's like the gradient. Okay, log to the base ten of b zero point one five four. 0.154. So from here we can find the value of A value of B very easily by just rewriting this in index form. I know that if I have log to the base of P of Q equals R, I can rewrite this. This is the base P, this is the power R, and this is the answer Q. So I can say 10 to the power 3.08 is A. So A is 10 to the power of 3.08. And similarly with B, I can say B is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.154. Okay, so those are the values of A and B, which I can now write to um, three, three significant figures. So I have 10 to the power of, I have 3.08, which is 1202.26. 1, um, 1202.26, which I have to write into 3SF, so that's 1200. Okay, and for B, I have 10 to the power of 0 0.154. So I can go back to here. 0 0.154. Okay, there's, um, that will give us the value of B, which is 1.4256, which gives us 1.4. 3 to 3 SF, so that's the value of B. So I found the value of A and the value of B. Okay, now it says when T equals capital T, the number of subscribers is 500,000. According to the model, find the value of T. So we know that the model, um, if we go back here, the actual um, model was this N equals A times B to the power of T. I can use that, I think, that'll be easier. So N equals A times B to the power of T which we can say that n equals, um, I can write the rounded values, but I'll put the exact value. This is like 10 to the power of 3.08, 10 to the power of 3.08 times b, which is um, 10, to the power of power, 10 to the power of 0 0.154, 10 to the power of uh, 0 0.154, and that's to the power of t, okay? Yeah, 154, that's right. Okay, so now that's the equation that we have. These are the constants A and B. Now we can find whatever we need to find, uh, you know, we can find any values we need. So here they've told us when T equals T, T equals capital T, then the number of subscribers is equal to 500,000. So we can now find the value of T by substituting these values in. So I have 500,000 equals 10 to the power of 3.08 times 10 to the power of 0 0.154 times uh, to the power of capital T. 
Okay, so now to, to solve this, I'm going to take 500,000, divide it by 10 to the power of 3.08. Okay, and that will give me 10 to the power of 0 0.154 times T. So now I can take log to the base, log to the base of 10 to the power of, um, oh, sorry, um, T's up there. That's to the power of T. So I can take the 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 base log to the base ten of the log to the base of ten to the power of zero point one five four. I hope that fits in the calculator. All right, and then that will give me um, if I take the log to the base of both sides. On this side, I'll, I'll be left with T. On this side, I'll be left with the log to the base ten of zero point one five four of all of this, which is five hundred thousand over ten to the power of three point zero eight. I've just kept these in exact forms. So that will give me the value of t that I'm I'm looking for. So let's see if I can stick this in the calculator the way it looks here. If I can, that's good. So I'm going to have log to the base 10 to the power of to the power of 1.54. And I can do that. See that's 0.154. Okay. And that's of what's in here, which is a fraction. 40,000, sorry, 500,000 over, and we have 10 to the power of uh, 3.08. Okay, that should give us the right answer, 17.006, 17.0062. So we can say T equals 17, yes. And there's the answer to the question. Now, um, one of the things that uh, we can understand from this, um, we could I could have just used uh, you know 3.08 and what 0.154 here. Um, or oh, sorry, I could have used uh, 1200 and 1.43 for A and B. I could have used those. So instead of writing this here, 10 to the power of 3.08, I could have used that as 1200. And I could use this as 1.43. I just kept things in the original exact form to keep accuracy. But I think it's perfectly fine in this question if you didn't do that. Um, uh, yeah, so that's basically the answer to part C. And that concludes this question on uh, logarithms from P3, question number four. Okay, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this region here. Other questions from logarithms and exponents of P3 in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And also you can watch this video that will appear on this side here, which will explain to you how to use my channel uh, with your revision and to access, you know, the past paper solutions to different questions and different papers, even for IGCSE and other modules of like M1 and P1, P2, S1 and so on. Thank you for watching and see you soon.